Okay, in this reaction we have a potassium metal right here. That's potassium, yes. Extremely dangerous. You can actually see over here, this container is filled with like a liquid. Because if it touches water, bad things happen. So, we have over here some water. And in the water we have above a layer of mineral oil, and that's to protect it. That way the potassium cannot be touching water and oxygen at the same time. Or else that would be very, very bad. And there's also some phenolphthalein. So what's going to happen is the potassium is going to react with the water and form potassium hydroxide, which is the base, and that's what's going to make the uh, phenolphthalein turn purple. And then hydrogen gas will also be produced. So can, that goggles on for safety. Let's see what happens here. Get a good view. All right, get back. As soon as it touches the oh, there you go. See that instantly. As soon as it touches right at the site, it's going to float back up in the mineral oil because it's less dense. Then once it touches down again, it'll... You can also notice it's bubbling as soon as it touches the water surface. Okay, in this reaction we'll do the same thing with potassium except it's sodium. So you have some sodium metal here. So you can see the bottle, straight threes across the board, extremely dangerous. This is inside a bottle, inside kerosene, inside of a bag. That bag is inside a thing full of clay, and that clay is inside of a tin. So you don't mess with this stuff, it's pretty serious. We take the sodium and then drop it in. It is not gonna, it'll be inert with the mineral oil, but as soon as it touches the water, the phenolphthalein that's in there is going to turn pink because we're producing sodium hydroxide, which is a base, and phenolphthalein to go pick the base. So here we go. Bam. Yep. Uh, yep. As soon as it touches, it turns pink. You can move the other one over there as well, so you can see both. Or not. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now it looks like the sodium is more reactive than the potassium. Yeah. Why is that? Um, probably the age of the chemical, right? Maybe. The sodium is like at least five times more reactive. I mean, we had a smaller piece and it was way more reactive than the potassium. From what I've learned, it should be the opposite way, right? If we cut it this. Uh huh. Up a little bit more. So all the metallic sides are up. Facing. Mm-hmm. Go down. There we go. Nice to fill it up there. Okay. That's about good. Mm -hmm. So you want to see it in pure water, huh? Yeah. That'll be the next pure water.